pour the powder in. It's 220 calories. It's Spring Energy New Drink Mix. Uh, passion Yam. Passion Fruit Yam. Rough gear layout. Alright, one more sponsor plug. Uh, Sandy and I have a landing page at Roka. Uh, hashtag Roka.com slash Sage and Sandy. I'll link to it in the description below. This is the Matador style uh, retro, uh, but we also like other styles from Roka. They make sunglasses for all types of sports. Uh, sponsor plug. Alright, we gotta get going up there. Wow. All right, all right, so today is September 3rd, uh, 2020. Thursday morning, I believe, and we're heading up to the Brainerd Lake Recreational Area uh, above Boulder's Year. It's a very popular area, though, so even though it's a weekday morning, Thursday morning, I'm a little worried the parking lots might all be full. Uh, it's about 9 a.m. now, so kind of got a late start as far as uh, getting up here goes, but we'll see. Uh, it'll just extend the warm-up by maybe two miles, 3K, maybe a little bit farther, 4K, two and a half miles, if that's the case, uh, as well as the cool down. But we're gonna try to go up Mount Audubon. So Mount Audubon is about 13,200 feet, I believe. I'll put the metrics there uh, in feet and meters. And yeah, it's a high altitude push. Uh, haven't been up here for a long time. I don't think there'll be snow or ice on top because it's been a little bit warmer the last couple days, but high altitude push. The trail is a bit rocky. It's not like exposure or cliffs or anything like that, but it's a, it's just a very, it's a pretty rocky trail. It's not smooth dirt. Uh, so it makes it a little more slow going on the climb and, and descent. But, uh, and, and just get up there. It looks like a beautiful day. Hopefully it's not too windy up there here in the Indian Peaks. Uh, and hopefully we'll get some good views for you up there. I'm not sure if we'll go off trail near the end. I think there's a scree field kind of in the final push to the summit. So uh, let's get up there. Gotta be on the lookout for my friend Bowinkle the moose. A lot of moose up here in these parts. Hey buddy. Don't worry, I'm vegan. Don't you stab me now. Gotta give him his space. He's got great horns. Better to stab me with, huh? Alright, so a little warm-up jog here around Brainerd Lake. Uh, if you noticed, there's Audubon, so we're gonna go up there today. Should be a bit more windy and cooler up there. It's actually pretty warm and sunny down here because we're at around 10,000 feet, 3,000 meters of altitude already. This climb's a little over 1,000 meters, like 3,300 feet about. So high altitude push. And if you notice, this is where I started the Pawnee Buchanan loop out to Lone Eagle when I did that big long run last month. It's a beautiful lake, really beautiful area. All right, so also known as the Mitchell Lake Trailhead. Uh, the Mitchell Lake Trailhead's actually right over there, like 100 meters. This is the Audubon Trail here on the north, norther side. So we're gonna start here and uh, yeah, see what the wind's like up there. I think it'll be a bit cooler. It's actually pretty warm down here. I got on my polka three quarter sleeve, <laughs> long sleeve and a jacket in the back of my camelback vest as well. So let's hit it. So it actually starts off more smooth and runnable. It will get more rocky as we get higher. All right, so there's the split to Pawnee Buchanan off to the north there. It's about a mile and a half in. 1.7 miles in. It's almost 3K in. And this trail's wider than I thought, but it gets rocky and technical here.
right, good view of Long's Peak over there. So, as we swing north here, we're then gonna curl around to the final push to the summit. So going up climber's left here, gets a bit more rocky, but a great view. It's getting a bit windy and cold though, so I'm putting my hat and gloves on and a jacket. curve a bit to the west here too, at least how the cons are marked. This windy over here. So I made it to the car about two hours later. Um, I'm in the long-term parking lot, by the way. It's the one that's bigger and it doesn't fill up as fast, as opposed to the ones closer to Mitchell Lake and uh, the trailhead, uh, Long Lake, those lakes. Um, and then you can just walk around Brainerd Lake here, but always a good idea to bring extra layers. It was pretty cold and windy on top, even though it's hot down here, but a really nice day. Could have used some hat and gloves up there. You saw the struggles with the, the wind breaker, trying to get that on, it took over five minutes on the summit. I'm a little uncoordinated, but uh, thanks for watching these videos. We've got more adventure vlogs coming your way. I'm thinking about doing maybe the loft route on Long's Peak tomorrow, so uh, check that out. If not, check out uh, other mountain route adventures around Colorado here. Got a lot on the playlist. Training talks for any service, any distance, you know me. Thanks for your, all your support at sagerunning.com. Also, Coach Handy and I sell training plans there, 5K to Ultra Marathon. Thanks to the title sponsor, Hoka One. One. Keeping the dream alive. Subscribe, like these videos. Helps me out a lot. Hope you're doing well. Stay tuned for more. We have two Max Productions.